Hey guys, welcome to Science World. In the last video, I have discussed about the first fundamental force in nature. Now today we are talking about the second fundamental force in nature that is electrostatic force. Now, according to the definition of electrostatic force is it is the force of attraction and repulsion between two charges. So, consider two charges. Let this Q1 and Q2 and R be the distance of separation between them. So, according to the definition of electrostatic force, it is the force of attraction and repulsion which is directly proportional to the magnitude of these two charges q1 q2 and inversely proportional to the square of distance between them so it can be written as number one number two so combining these two we get f is directly proportional to q1 q2 upon r square so when the constant of proportionality removed f is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 upon r square here q1 q2 are the charges and r is the distance of separation Now, when we talk about electrostatic force, we also call it as electromagnetic force. Now, the question is that why we call it electromagnetic force? Here, we can talk about the charges. So, when the charges are at rest, uh, in other sense, we call talk about when they are static the force produced in this case is known as electrostatic force and when the charges are moved relatively they produce both magnetic plus electric field and known as electromagnetic force so the properties of these forces is that the electrons are revolved with the around the nucleus and the second one is that it is a both repulsive and attractive in nature uh, electrostatic force uh, obeys the inverse scale law that is 1 upon r square. Now we can talk about the third fundamental force in nature that is strong nucleus force. It is defined as the force which consisting proton and neutron inside the nucleus. Proton and neutron. It is called strong nucleus force. And the properties of this is that it is a short range force it does not obey inverse scale law it is 100 times greater than electromagnetic force and 10 to the power minus 38 sorry minus uh, plus 38 times to the gravitational force and now we can talk about the fourth fundamental force in the nature that is weak nuclear force so the force occurs in the elementary particles which are emitted during the radioactive 
decay of radioactive substance is called weak nuclear force. For example, in beta decay, electron and neutrino emit it. So, the force between the electron and neutrino is called weak nuclear तो हो तो गाइस आपको वीडियो पसंद आई होगी तो हिट लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू